the elected officials standing with us tonight. And I love the energy. I love the energy of this crowd. And I know the excitement you're feeling. One year ago, I was not far from here, sitting with a handful of moms. And they talked about how frustrated they were about, guess what? All of the things that the pandemic. But recognizing the momentum the momentous weight of history that rested on his shoulders. And Chris, I came up the same sentence from your book. Someday, he wrote, will be recognized as a great landmark in the struggle of mankind for peace. Never before has such a record been written, and men will read it for a thousand years in amazement and wonder how it ever happened. When President Clinton spoke at this first dedication, he ended on a pointed reminder. He said, and I quote, the road to tyranny, we must never forget, begins with the destruction of truth. The road to tyranny begins with the destruction of truth. In my view, that was the lesson at the heart of the Nuremberg trials, finding truth documenting it so it could never be denied. In court, Tom Dodd built a case fact by fact, using the Nazis' own meticulous records of crimes and shocking human evidence to pin down Nazi leaders who tried to deny their complicity and feign ignorance. And even more important, it denied the entire German policy the ability to feign ignorance. To deal with the past, you must face the truth. Whether it's Dachau, Buchenwald, Auschwitz, or other camps, millions of Jews rounded up, along with members of other minority groups, thrown into camps, abused, used as forced labor, medical experimentation, six million Jews murdered, including so many who met their ultimate fate in the gas chamber. He made sure no one could deny their own eyes and what they saw. 